In this tutorial of Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to take a quick overview of the interface of the program. What do you see when you open the program? And how do you move around and navigate all the options? When you open the program, you'll see that it's default set to the quick view at the very top in the center. There are three other views. Let's briefly show you what they are. If you click to the left, you'll be the eLive view. This will take you to the website where you can find tutorials, you can find design ideas, you can find examples and other promotional materials. So if you just want to simply learn, you can click here and that will take you into that process. The second option, which is a default, is a quick option. This allows you to very uh, carefully and simply begin to build a movie with very key steps following a process that Adobe has built into the program. The guided option is much similar. It gives you different ways in which you can do certain tasks within the program by clicking on the options. You have basics, video adjustments, audio adjustments, and fun edits. So if I click, for example, in this option over here, created animated social post, it will take me through that particular process. They've broken down into individual steps with uh, back arrows and forward arrows. I'm going to uh, cancel out of that for now. The last mode is the expert mode. This is basically learning on your own. And this is where our tutorials will come from here at the Sharper Turtle. What I'd like to do now is also show you some other features of the interface. If you look at the upper left, you find that you have eight major menus, all with drop downs. Everything you need to do in the program, you can access through one or more of these options. You notice many of them are grayed out depending on uh, what happens to be active on the screen at the time. You also have over on the right side, a list of uh, key components in the toolbar. These are key actions that you'll do over and over again in building your project. Every movie is compiled into what's called a project. And when the project is done, you click on export and share, and then you can decide how you're going to get that movie out to the rest of the world. You can put it online, you can burn a disk, you can save it as a file, other kinds of things. We also have another shortcut here on create if you want to follow a procedure to make a video story, an instant movie, or a video collage. In the upper left corner, you can add media when we click this clip here, and it shows you different ways in which you can access your media. And then we have a drop-down called Project Assets, which will simply show you what elements you've already put into your particular project, whether they're uh, video files, audio files, whether they're image clips, or anything else that can go into your movie. Then at the bottom, we have our timelines and we have uh, the window split pretty evenly. When you have items clicked on the bottom, uh, they will appear in a preview mode in the top and they'll replace what you see here right now. And you can add them on the appropriate track, whether it's video, audio, voice, or music. You can also change the size of the window by dragging with the two-headed arrow up or down. And sometimes you'll want a little more room at the bottom. Sometimes you'll want more room for the preview at the top. And so these are adjustable. You can also take the items from the right. And when you click on these, this window bounces to the left. And uh, in this case, you need a clip to make this active. But when you're done, you can click on the double-headed arrow. It'll close to the right. So there's a very creative way of using the real estate available to you in multiple ways in Premier Elements 2018. So that's a little bit of a look at the interface and the different key areas. We'll get into many more details in upcoming lessons as we begin to help you build your movie and learn some of the tools that you can use in going from something very simple to something very awesome.